The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host, Scott. Yay. Uh, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the uh, most non-flaming homosexual funny person that we all know and love, JP. Oh, God, what is going on? He's bringing my enthusiasm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> he's it. bringing your fucking, this is right <laughs> in your wheelhouse. I love it. Yes. And also, Derek Alders. <laughs> oh, man, we're in, we're in bad mood today. What's Welcome. up? Welcome, we're not. We are not happy. I don't think any of us are happy right now. I don't know, man. No. You're pretty happy. No, I know. <laughs> I'm gay. There's a difference. <laughs> and high. <laughs> and high. There's a difference. I'm not happy. I'm really actually kind of pissed off. Maybe maybe that's what I need. I'm maybe really maybe I just some need dick. <laughs> no, some, some dick. Some you dick. You I know, can leave. I'd be I mean, happy to right now. No, because you've got to pan the camera back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, otherwise, that's how the are they going to get all of me in it? No, most of the cameras nowadays, they they have a like a, a function that does that automatically. Okay, that's cool. Have you never yeah. seen a security camera? Yeah, I'm fine. sure you have, JP. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> once or twice. I usually like to make sure those are turned off. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, but anyways, uh, th- this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast where, uh, you know, this is a comedy show. Where we yeah, like oh, to- yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're real <laughs> kind of full of yuck yucks here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, we'll get to it here in a little bit. All at, least the at least Scotty's smiling a little bit now. I'm trying right now, oh, god damn man. it. When, whenever you do a show with this person for four and a half years, it just eventually gets By you. By this I person. I finally you mean, did it. You mean Derek. <laughs> I mean Derek. Yeah, yeah. he finally fucking yeah. snuck through the barrier. And he now. has a this person and a you people. And I'm <laughs> yeah, person. yeah, oh, I know. That's when he first said it. I thought it was you people, but yeah. no. I'm, I'm just glad I'm finally rubbing off. Hey, man, you're yeah. doing a great job. I appreciate it. It took that. a while, it's though. It's done that. So, uh, soon yeah. as soon as you start getting so, suicidal thoughts. That's what so, he's doing under the table so what every you're saying episode. is, if you just go away... And I hang out where you're at for four and a half years. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh, okay. Scotty's going to give his 38th yeah, rim job. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no. Right. I was saying Fifth do a dude. Uh, fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow, you're starting to get good then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm very talented. <laughs> That's very talented. <laughs> Anyways. My, eat- my tongue's like a sewer snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. He can eat all the chocolate off the dilly bar. Oh, oh, without, <laughs> just leave all the ice. Yeah. Uh, that's disgusting. Anyways, uh, welcome to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is actually a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me when I'm really, really in an exciting mood, but today I'm fucking pissed. Uh, but this is Love also, it. Yeah, this is also an adult podcast, if you haven't figured it out yet, where uh, you know we like to use foul language and piss as many people off as possible, meaning if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong fucking place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Uh, we've got a great show. It's an excellent show. Oh, man. Of, co- of yeah. course it is. Yeah, I'm leaving. It That's seems like it, it. It seems like it. You know, JP, it's going to be fabulous. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, now wah, 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 I got it. Wah, wah, I got you, dog. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was pretty good. I hear you're great with impressions. Yeah, that's right. what I hear. After last week, I'm convinced. <laughs> I'm surprised we're not canceled yet. No, we're still going, we're man. We're still going. That's what it is. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm like uh, the tarred whisperer, I guess. <laughs> 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 I didn't say the R word. You didn't. No, nope, you I didn't. Shortened it. Yeah, <laughs> that makes it better. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but anyway, I, I heard somebody say something at work the other day, and it fucking killed me. Uh, Chooch. <laughs> oh yeah. Sitting next to, he yeah. was talking about some girl 
uh, him and another guy, and they were talking about her, and he was like, the one guy thinks she's cute, and she just goes, I don't know. I think she looks like she might have a touch of the tism. <laughs> I fucking lost it. I had never heard that before. That's good. I died. That's good shit. Uh, but anyways, guys, we got an excellent show for you today. We've got sports. we got some current events that are coming out. we got some crazy shit, too, that I just kind of find on the uh, the interwebs. we got overrated or underrated. We've got what would you do, questions and preguntas, a very, very fun draft, and it's, uh, you know, it's high time we do this draft, especially when I'm in such a fucking great mood. Man, I can't wait. Yeah. And I'm as excited. always, we, we're going to end the show off with a shitty situation. But first, we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week, which we call our week, week recap, which JP is full of week fucking weeks. So we're going to start with you, dog. How right. you been? I've been so good. I'm sure you have. I've been so good, man. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. You'll never believe what I did last week. Smoke pot, bowl, and mash. Smoke double. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and mash bait. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm four for four. What's, what's well, the... Well, what do we got? I masturbated a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, yeah... That's pretty much it. I went to a buddy's house the other night and played cards for a while. Yeah, you're good at that. And, uh, man, I'm really pissed off because today. Not as pissed as I am. No, I'm pretty pissed, man. Okay. I fucking been, for the last two weeks, I've been waiting for today. Mm. To get off work, to go to the bowling alley, and to get my new ball and get it drilled. Oh. And I'm a fucking went tarred. Tard. <laughs> turns out. Okay. Yeah, there you yeah. go. The you can't ball, say the R word, but you can say the T word. You can say the T word all day long. I thought the ball came out on the 17th. Oh. So he would be able to sell it to me on the 17th. Okay. It does in August. <laughs> so now I got to wait a whole nother fucking month. You're like the guy on the couch from the oh. half day. What day is it? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's I'm Saturday. so upset, Is man. it February? No, man, it's August. <laughs> it's not August. even right for me to be as upset as I am over a bowling ball. No, but I, I am can, fucking pissed, man. I completely man. understand, man. And now do you know how shitty the next month is going to be just because I'm like... I don't know, man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, Derek gets me. I know exactly how shitty it's going to be. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's first world problems of JP. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I actually have a question about you playing poker. Like, because I know you smoke pot a lot. Um, does that fuck with you when you're, when you're like playing cards? Or does it like, like chill you down? What? I what? mean, it depends on the pot. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I was just, I mean, real question because. But no, it really, I, I play better when I'm high. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know how people say, I drive better when I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm sure I play better when I'm high because I, that's the only time I play. Oh, so, okay. So, I mean. I've never played sober. If I, dude, if I'm as good as I am high, I can't imagine how good I'd be sober. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I believe you. Derek yeah. might never beat me. Yeah, uh, you've made a couple of my car payments, and I appreciate it. Yeah, that. man, you're That's welcome, dude. That's good stuff. You're a good fucking guy. <laughs> you're a good guy, man. I know. And then uh, Wednesday night, yeah, uh, did the last show at the Looney Bin. Yeah. And uh, it was awesome. Yeah. It was really good, man. It looked it was, like a really fun time. It was. It, it was really good. It was um, almost as if it were comedians allowed only, like only comedians allowed. So, therefore, I did not get the invite. Oh, well. It wasn't only comedians. There were a lot of other people there. <laughs> so Friends of comedians, even. Yeah, yeah, oh, tons of friends. All of my friends came. That's no, okay. Couldn't make it. I had other yeah, things I know. to do. Yeah, yeah he said cool. all of his friends. He said all of my eight. friends were there. I know. I know. But, uh, I yeah, wasn't. man, it's cool. You didn't have to be there. I mean. <laughs> For all of his friends to be there, you did not have to be yeah. there, Scott. I know. I know. It's you're my probably, bad. You're probably golfing or something. Probably. And, and at night, yeah, I do that a lot. I figured. Golf. Yeah, he probably does. <laughs> oh, I know he was he does. probably like polishing his bindings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was over here <laughs> for my driver, my my bindings, Your snowboard bindings. Oh, okay, no, yeah. I, was, I was going with it. Um, but no, uh, a lot of people don't know what happens like before we start recording the show, before the episode comes on. Generally, my wife is upstairs. We welcome everybody in, whoever's on the show that week, and. Um, 
This <laughs> that didn't sound right. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. It didn't. She services all of us. She services everybody, and then yeah. we come down she's, here. We're relaxed. Now we're clear headed. We're ready to go. Literally. <laughs> she's yeah, post nut clarity. My water tastes funny. <laughs> post nut clarity, man. That's what happens. Uh, but no, she's a good hostess. Uh, she always wants to make everybody, you know, uh, in a good mood. She can't do that to me, unfortunately. But uh, JP said that he was really, really thirsty. He was wanting some water and parched. <clears throat> so my wife which is weird yeah that is kind of weird especially after smoking there's a lot of pot that's weird um my wife uh, started drinking these water seltzers and jp asked for some water and she goes hey you know it's i don't have bottled water but hey i've got these uh water seltzers uh it's it's nectarine lemon and uh what you think of that jp look man it was one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> but she said it was going to be good. She lied. She lied? Yeah, man. What a bitch. Your wife is a liar. <laughs> she said, she was like, dude, she hyped it up. She did. She was like the hype person for this water. Yeah, she did. And yeah, it is really bad. Why do people <laughs> drink this stuff? I, I, I don't know. It's, 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 got all the, it's got all the burn and zero calories dog it's got all the burn of soda yeah but not the great flavor yeah it so, tastes like warm it tastes like hot hot air like if you, you know what i mean yeah it tastes like hot air yeah okay now <clears throat> it's awful man I, I took a big gulp that time uh that's yeah, pretty bad yeah that's, it's horrible it's pretty bad man why do people drink those things i don't know she's on a fucking health kick right now just get just leave her alone. But just because you want to be healthy doesn't mean you have to be miserable, you too. You know what's healthier? Water. Regular water. Yeah. Which is yeah. way better, by the way. I, look, I drank the whole glass. You did. You want, you I want, can't believe I drank no, the whole I'm good. thing. You want, no, you want I'm to good. finish that off? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. No. But yeah, man, that stuff is absolutely awful. It's really bad. You know, uh, both of us. Uh, both of us has been no alcohol. Uh, for her, probably very, very little alcohol. She drinks a beer every once in a while. I don't. I, I'm... No alcohol for uh, I think I'm coming up on 19 weeks, something like that, yeah. and uh, it's it's uh, not what it's cut out to be. Sometimes days like today, I, I want a couple of shots, but uh, not gonna happen. I can so give I'm, you a shot or two. I'm sure you could, buddy. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm. And there's probably enough THC in there to fuck you <laughs> up. <laughs> Bro, <whatever. laughs> but yeah, uh, but no, I had uh, I did actually have a good week. I really did. Yes, you're right. I did do a lot of golfing. Uh, my brother. Uh, is a person who I, I I like to golf with, and uh, he, he and his fiance went out and bought a golf simulator. This is where it's getting really fucking ridiculously like serious. Those things are very expensive, and so we're in the garage until it's fucking rich people. All, so you, can, <laughs> all so hours you of like the night. To, you like to golf so much, but you don't want to go golfing, right? You just really <laughs> yeah. can't muster up the strength, but to go anywhere but the basement, <laughs> yeah. and then then it's perfect. If you've ever been on a golf course behind a bunch of people that don't know how to play golf and are playing slower than shit, this is probably the coolest thing that's ever been invented. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what, JP, save your money up. You might be able to get a bowling simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I already how have cool one. would that be? <laughs> I already have one. And then a pot simulator. <laughs> yeah. And then you can just fucking stay on the couch the whole synthetic time. Synthetic THC is coming soon. They're already coming out with mm -hmm. synthetic chicken. So I'm sure synthetic weed's in the mix. Uh, but oh, did, did get to do that. Very high. I was going to say a fleshlight, but that doesn't work for like, what is it? Like a flesh baton? A flesh baton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, what is, what do they call it? It's the clone, the Willy clone thing, right? A dildo? Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd want your own, right? Well, of course. Absolutely. You could literally fuck yourself. <laughs> you really could. I almost can already. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it's fucking close. I can touch the hole. Oh, that's I just can't so... squeeze it in there, you know that's what I mean? It's absolutely disgusting. Mm. Yikes. It makes me think of that old that old joke, <laughs> what's the difference between jelly and jam? Yeah. <laughs> I can't gel me with my dick in your ass. <laughs> Uh, that's one of my favorites. Oh, I try as, try as I might, I can't jelly my dick in there. Uh, and if it's hard, it hurts. This is why people back so far. Yeah, this is why people need to watch it. So the the level of cringe that like you can see in my reactions. I can awesome. suck it. Uh, that's great, JP. That's awesome. As long as I got somebody to hold my ankle, <laughs> that's I disgusting, can do it. man. I can All show right. you later. Why isn't your week? <laughs> Stop. I knew you were going to try and raise your hand. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's, that's like, don't do it. Can I get a volunteer out of the audience? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. 
Uh, but no, uh, it always brings me back uh, to a, an old episode, one of my favorite ones of a long time that we, we did. And actually, JP was on the show at this particular point in time. But over the last week, I, I lost count of how many times we were tagged in Hobby Horse Championship videos. Oh, I know, man. One after That was another. a great show. I remember that show. It was, that a, great was show. a great show. It was a great show. But I know it was. Apparently, they're having the championship somewhere. Oh, yeah. Over the last week. I'm, I'm guessing. I've seen a bunch more on, on the TikTok. Yeah. Uh, but I like where it's going with this. I think that a lot of people are actually like uh, making fun of it, which is what you should do in these particular situations. But there's so many more that aren't. There's so <laughs> many. If you're going to nationals, there's a lot of people doing it they for got, real. They got the crowd in the, in the background Dude, and stuff like that. Dude, those horses are so expensive. <laughs> Horses are so expensive. It's definitely a rich person sport. <laughs> you gotta be a, a you gotta be a rich weirdo to uh, do hobby it's horse. It's not a fucking sport. What if, you, what if you just go and cut a horse's head off? I think that'd be and better. Put it on a pike. And yeah, and just you would be the most intimidating hobby horse enthusiast. Dude, I, that's he, gotta yeah. be better. Yeah, it's it's gotta be better than what has actually happened, which is they've developed some kind of system Hobby horse league yeah league somewhere and i don't even know if this is in the, the united hhl States. yeah no shit it, sunday sunday <laughs> sunday fuck if they had an announcer like that i may watch it at least it'd be entertaining uh but no the, the and bridget's out of the gate <laughs> she's galloping like she wants it today i uh i i it just it's something that hurts my brain i i don't i don't understand how we celebrate mental mental stupidity and it's just stupid. no these people aren't mental they're fucking they're definitely on the tism no, scale no they're normal <laughs> they've <laughs> definitely got some of the tism <laughs> they do. touch of the tism touch, of the, touch tism. of the tism i want to know if like one of them let's like a i want to see like eight of them with midgets on their backs <laughs> <laughs> and then the hobby horse stick going around a track. Absolutely. I that think that'd be great. I would watch the shit out yeah, of. Yeah, if they were racing, I think hobby it'd be cooler Hobby horse racing, too. Yeah, yeah, just a midget on their back. But they're not. not. They're, they're, they're jumping shit they're out jumping. of them. They're jumping they're over jumping poles over like a yeah. horse would do in the Olympics right. because, you know, that's an Olympic sport. It's an actual fucking horse. Equestrian. Yeah, equestrian, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything. But, but this rich, is. We're rich white people shit. Yeah, uh, but this is this is getting. I wonder ridiculous. if there are any black people that do hobby horses. <laughs> no, I haven't seen them. No, in all the videos I haven't seen, only seen stupid white people. I'd watch the shit out of it if <laughs> they were, because then it would be cool. <laughs> You're right. They'd be, they'd be yeah. jumping way higher way, and yeah. stuff, and records would be set. JD. Dunking basketballs after the jump. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, I I didn't do a lot. Uh, the reason why I'm in a bad mood is uh all day today i did not have the internet uh at work and that made me very very irritable and pissed off and so that's the reason why and it's going to carry on probably throughout the entire show so dude how pathetic is that that's the only thing that happened to you and now you're that upset it was a it was a compilation of everything man okay everything see how i did that see i, I said see. compilation, compilation. i did mm -hmm. yeah i said it correctly for once. too bad you didn't say compilation Shut the because fuck up. yeah yeah uh but no Derek, how was your week? Busy. I'm sure it was. Oh, man, yeah. busy. I, uh, I, too, was on the last show at the Looney Bin. Yeah. Uh, and had a fantastic time. I was kind of sad that I didn't get to go Saturday because uh, I had family in town. Oh. Um, my aunt from Canada came into town. Oh. And then my stepmom, who never fucking comes up here. Uh, both of them came up to visit uh, while my aunt was here. Cool. So I had I, I really enjoyed hanging out with them. Uh, I don't get to see my aunt, but maybe once every like four or five years, if that. Yeah. Did you, so, call, it, did you call ice on her just to make sure she went back okay? Yep. You no, got to make no. sure you do that. No. Um, you can only stay for my, a certain amount of time. My stepmom was telling me this story about she owns a, a shop in Kansas City, like a dog grooming shop. And mm. I guess the power had went out at one point. Mm. And so... For some dumb fucking reason, her employee decided to put the tape over the switch in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, it wasn't the power. It was the, the bathroom light, like the stuff, the, the electricity in the bathroom went out. Oh, okay. So she put a piece of tape over the light. That way, no one would try to turn the light on since there's no power yeah. in the bathroom, which made no fucking sense. So uh, while my aunt and stepmom were here, a storm ripped through Kansas City. 
and blew the fuck out of some of those trees. And her neighbor lost a giant tree in the backyard due to all that. Okay, cool. And I asked her if they put a piece of tape on the stump so no one would try to hang a tire swing. <laughs> <laughs> Which I found hilarious. Um, they I, didn't, did they? No. No, I didn't think so. I also uh, had baseball this week. And um, we were playing the Springfield Cardinals, so any kind of Cardinal can fuck off. Mm. Um, there's one guy on the Springfield Cardinals, his headshot, that motherfucker's got a neck a mile You've long. You've told us about this before. Yes. Yes. So now I've gotten to where not every game, but like <laughs> once every other game or once or twice a series, uh, his name is Nick Dunn. You call mm-hmm. him Nick. I will call him Nick Dunn when he comes up to the plate. And I like to feel like I'm gaslighting him. <laughs> like, because I'm like, I like to think, because I do it very clearly. I'm like, number seven, Nick Dunn. <laughs> and then he'll come up again and I'll go, number seven, Nick Dunn. <laughs> and I'll say Nick the rest of the game. But I want him to be like, that motherfucker called me Nick. <laughs> listen, guys, listen. Dude, all I hear is Nick. I know that son of a bitch called me Nick. <laughs> and then the next game I wouldn't do it. And then the next game I'd do it once. <laughs> so I like to think I'm fucking with him. Well, good. But uh, the computer's all fucked up there. Uh, you can't print. I like to print out uh, my own little lineup to read when I'm announcing the starting lineup. Sure. So I've had to send these emails of the lineup that I, I'll type it up, and I have to send it to Tim, the radio guy. <laughs> well, I send these from Chance, uh, who is up there, who is like kind of like the room director. I send them from his laptop, so these emails are coming from Chance. <laughs> <laughs> so along with, along with the lineup that is attached, I send weird shit in the, sub, in the actual body line of the email. So one uh, that I sent, I sent three this week. <laughs> one was uh, Dearest Tim. <laughs> I've been fighting on the front lines for some time now. I wouldn't describe, can't describe the horrors that I've seen because I do not want to frighten you. <laughs> the only thing that keeps me going is the thought that I might see your angelic face one more time if I'm lucky <laughs> enough to return home. I love you. Chance. <laughs> P.S. Please print out this lineup for Derek. <laughs> so... So the second one I sent <laughs> the next day was something about, I, I used a little bit of Mitch Hedberg here. I said, uh, dearest Tim, I have many fears in life, such far as like sesame seeds. What is a sesame? <laughs> I'm also afraid of the number seven. You know, some people, it's their lucky number. For me, it represents terror and death. <laughs> uh, there are the seven deadly sins, for instance. But my biggest fear of all, Tim, is the thought of losing you. I love you. Chance. P.S. Please print this lineup out for Derek. And then the one I did uh, just recently, which was my favorite. Uh, Dearest Tim, (laughs) I've just gotten through reading a novel called Green Eggs and Ham. (laughs) It it took me a few weeks to get through due to its extensive vocabulary. (laughs) That was my favorite part. Two very large words. But I have trouble with vocabulary. Uh, So I said, due to its extensive vocabulary. But it taught me a lot of lessons, especially the lesson of trying new things. So I guess what I'm asking you is, do you know anyone with a hot air balloon and an English bulldog that isn't afraid of heights? I love you. Chance. So I've been doing this. uh, Please print the line out for Derek. (laughs) Yeah, please print the line out for Derek. I have been doing that and have been having a blast uh, doing that. And then the last thing, I'd, I've got a trainee at work. I'm, I'm tra- they, they trust me to fucking train somebody. <laughs> and uh, I, we were talking last week about how I mishear shit. Yeah. Like uh, the, uh, or misread shit. Or yeah, abducts and chicken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she said that she was going to go home tonight and go swimming. So she's like, I am excited. I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to go swimming. I said, what would you just say? <laughs> And she goes, I'm going to go swimming. I said, I thought you said you were going to go home and ghost women. (laughs) (laughs) That's what what I'm going to do. I was like, man, I got a Tinder profile. I go by Chuck. (laughs) I I get them all worked up, and then I just don't text them anymore. That's what I like to do on my free time. Ghost women. (laughs) Ghost women. 
Uh, Derek does that automatically. Doesn't even have to. Yeah, that's a, I do that to my wife. She I'm gets sure. pissed. <laughs> I'm sure you, she. I'm sure she does. She, <laughs> she, she gets very mad. She can be, beat the shit out of you. I'm guarantee that. Oh, I guarantee that too. Um, so and, that was my week. Um, that's good. Um, I know you're going to be doing baseball next. I think week maybe two. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're going to be gone. Yep. Have fun, buddy. Next show, me and JP, we're going to be positive. We are fucking terrible. Yeah, we are, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we are. It yeah, is yeah. very tough to watch that team. Uh, I know, but that's okay. It's my least, man. Uh, but anyways, uh, we do have a great show. Uh, we're going to kick this thing off. Uh, oh, yeah, that was our uh, you know week recap and stuff like that. Now we get to move on to the current events. This is uh, what's going on in the real world. Uh, obviously, got to have the golf news, you know, because of me. I fucking hate this, but... Rory McIlroy wins the Scottish Open in the uh, the Open, which is stupid. You know that, Derek? Mm-hmm. They, they're calling yeah. the, they're calling the British Open the Open now. Wow, <laughs> you got to be shitting me! I'll never cool. watch golf again. <laughs> that does it. I'm sending a letter. Yeah, I know. Uh, but Dearest yeah. golf people. <laughs> <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> I I don't know why I watch golf. It, Do you know that there are thirty seven hundred dimples on a golf ball? <laughs> Is that really? Dear diary, <laughs> I don't uh, have any fun. not thirty. That'd be impossible, Scott. I, I They've think. renamed the Open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I figured you guys would like that. Uh, but yeah, fun stuff. Uh, Shohei Otani hits his thirty fifth home run, and free agency is coming around the corner. Uh, you think he goes someplace else? Yes. Where do you think he goes? The Dodgers. If he goes to the Dodgers, I'm not watching baseball anymore. <laughs> he's going to go to the Dodgers. I'm not. Well, I'm not anyway. either. Either he's getting flipped at the deadline to the Dodgers, but I think any deal that is going to come with Otani is going to have to come with an extension. It's yeah. going to be have to. Uh, it's going to have to be a guaranteed extension, and he's probably going to make half a billion dollars. <sighs> and he Sucks. should. I mean, he, he should. should. He really should. Mm-hmm. He's damn good. 35 home runs, season's halfway over. Uh, I don't think he breaks the record uh, that's set by the steroid user. Oh, but Bonds, no. But he may break the one that's set by the Roger Maris. The other steroid <laughs> user. Roger Maris. Uh, well, there was also nah, Wire and Sosa. There's two I, other You take users. those steroid guys out of the equation. Come on. Uh, but he may break Maris, uh, and I hope that, that that happens. I think that'd be great. What didn't Judge break? What how many did he did. hit? Sixty four. Uh, Sixty three. I don't think he. I don't think he hit more than six. Uh, many more than sixty two. He definitely yeah. didn't hit fucking seventy. No. no. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So he hits the his thirty fifth homer. So we'll see where he goes. Please, dear God, do not let him go to the fucking Dodgers. Uh, but there was also talk about a Legends home run derby, which it would include the steroid users. Did you hear about that? No. Uh, there was a couple of ESPN analysts that said that they would support a Legends home run derby for the All-Star game. I'm assuming they're going to bring the fence in somehow, like they do mm. for like the softball and shit like leave that. Leave it. <clears throat> yeah, please leave it alone. Uh, but if you want to bring some of the legends back, I'm sure that there are guys that probably would still love to do it. I bet you Big Poppy would do it. I bet you, Kate, I mean, Ken Griffey Jr. You can't tell me it. those guys have not picked up a bat since they retired. I guarantee they are out in the off season, still yeah. kind of working out with the team. And oh, doing sure. Stuff. Uh, yeah. McGuire was a hitting coach. I'm not sure if he is still, but I know he still does. Uh, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd probably be more fun than the, the current one that we have because I don't care. I just don't like the way they do it now. I like the 10 outs. I do, too. I like the 10 outs, too. I don't like the timeout and the fucking two minutes and the four. Everybody hits the extra fucking time. Somebody hit. Those people don't hit fucking wall scrapers. I know. So just fucking go back to the 10 outs. I I agree. Um, But probably the biggest news that's actually out there uh, for the last couple of days, there are a shitload, shitload of running backs in the NFL that are talking some stuff about their position. I don't know if you saw any of this at all, Derek. Uh, I saw like Derek Henry was mad about Derek Henry, Dalvin Cook, uh, Christian McCaffrey, um, pretty much the big names in that particular position. Running backs, um, Dalvin Cook has yet to sign. <clears throat> um, you have uh, Josh Jacobs is probably not going to sign. Uh, he'll probably miss all of camp, which I'm not. Ex- I'm not surprised by any of that, right? Any of these big big name guys starting running backs, they're going to miss camp. They don't want to, so that's what they're going to do, and they're expensive. They they have 
they have their team by the balls. Uh, but a lot of them are, I mean, I think a lot of them have a pretty good point, but basically what it is is they're not being paid enough for what their position entails is what their complaint is. Um, the problem with that is, is with the salary cap and things like that, you tie up a whole bunch of money for somebody who genuinely, as far as that position goes, what do you think the max or the average of a running back is for that position? The average lifespan or average? (coughs) It's three years. Three to five is what I would guess, right? So if you have somebody like, uh, like the Dallas Cowboys and giving Ezekiel Elliott that kind of, uh, contract, then it ties up a lot of that free agency or that a lot of that money that they can use for other players. It's a shitty situation, um, but I understand where it comes from. I understand their bitch as well because there's such a high, you know, regarded position. Well, the names you have sitting down here <clears throat> that are pissed they're not getting paid a lot. I'm looking here. Saquon, Saquon injury prone. Yep. Dalvin Cook, injury prone. Uh, D- Derek Henry injury prone. Yeah, Josh Jacobs is he, the only one, but he, too. yeah, he does. Now, granted, I know they take a lot of hits, but I'm not gonna. Two of those guys have missed entire seasons. Yes. So why the fuck am I gonna? They've that guy Derek Henry's carried that ball how many fucking times? I'm not giving him a huge deal. No. Yeah, you, and it wouldn't be smart to do so. If you have a uh, JP, you, oh, you don't sorry. know the story. Well, oh, come bad. on, you're a Denver Broncos fan. Who's well, yeah, your? but I don't like to talk about sports. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, that much. We'll wake you up and here who a little gives bit. a shit, really? Well, the whole thing is though, is when you got these guys that are asking and bitching on Twitter about a whole bunch of money, and it's like I get where you're coming from, but you also have to see the other thing is, is whenever you're a prime a candidate for that position, and you go through training and college and stuff like that, you slowly find out that it's actually better to be a fucking wide receiver than it is a running back. Running backs don't, don't just run the ball; they block too. Oh yeah, and they get a reputation of oh that guy's not in the game, so. It's uh, it's a running play. You know what I'm saying? If it's a blocking play, then a lot of teams that have those guys will get that star running back out so they don't get hurt. So it's it's a, it's going to be an evolving position. I think that eventually the NFL is going to basically blend to a two run sorry two running back team. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be more that way. Yeah, I don't they think they already are. Uh, yeah, but you, you still have guys that are considered three down backs, right? Like I, four. There's there's now very little of what they used to be. And so I think you're going to see a lot of a lot more guys splitting time, and I think those four eventually are going to be dwindled down to less work, which uh, I'm not surprised, especially whenever they're having this anticipation of the same amount of work for the same amount of money. I think what I'm getting at is that eventually they won't have to work near as much because they, they are going to go to two, two-person backfields. So uh, that's what I got about that. How about you, JP? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, man. No, you don't. Who's the running back for the Denver Broncos? Um. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, uh, now we're moving on to the Wichita Wind Surge. Uh, they made ESPN Sports Center. Did you see that, JP? Yeah, man. Did you? Fuck yeah. What I, happened? It's all I do is watch Sports Center. Uh, dude got a in the park home run. I'm very impressed. Congratulations, yeah, JP. And we were on, yeah, Wichita, Kansas, baby. <laughs> He performs magic every once in a while, folks. Yes, the Wichita Wind Surge win a game in... For $20, I'll perform magic on you. (laughs) I'm sure you will. Uh, I'll make make it disappear. Inside the park, walk-off, home run. In extras. In extras. In extras. Yeah, that was was cool. The thing is, is is, uh, it's just because of a a bad defensive play. Well, he dove for the ball. He dove for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. so on on that particular play, you need to have your left fielder and your right fielder going behind the guy diving, which didn't really happen. Therefore, you had a catcher who has very little speed get an inside the park home run yeah. and uh, win the game. That's you were awesome. there calling it. You yes. saw it live. Yes. Were you excited? No, I was excited the game was over. There you go. That was a go home. 30 fucking hits between the two teams. Yeah. Uh, 13 to 12 was the score. Yeah. And uh, we get we had an eight-run fucking inning, mm-hmm. went up by three, and immediately lost the lead the <laughs> top half of the next <laughs> inning. And I'm like, God damn it. Good shit. Sorry. I wanted to bring that back up just because I totally forgot about it. But uh, I did also want to touch on um, – uh, one more thing in football, DeAndre Hopkins got signed with the Tennessee Titans, where wide receivers go to die. Uh, do you see him being anything worth a shit in Tennessee? I don't know. No? I I won't. Well, I don't see it because I'm not going to watch it. Of course. It's all rigged. It's all rigged. It depends so, on what the script says. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Pretty what well, you, right. Yeah. What do you think the game script will be? For because, Hopkins? Yeah. For Tennessee Titans, been a shitty team. 
They they still have a quarterback that genuine or generally is going to hand the ball off. I'm not going to get you. Hand the ball off to Derrick Henry. So do you see D- Derrick Henry a free agent? Uh, no, Henry's still they, with with the uh, Titans. Okay. I, I, you know what? You may be correct. Um, as far as I know, he's obviously still with the Titans. They may not just agreed on a contract. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I still think that uh, he's still going to get targets. I just don't think it's going to be very many. I think he'll be the lead, he'll lead the team in targets. Sorry, he's not going to get the numbers that he's used to getting as far as yards, touchdowns, and things like that. I think he'll put up, put up comparable numbers. Okay, that's fine. Way to go. Uh, next thing, activists in Germany glue themselves to the road, uh, and they might need amputation of their hands in order for them to get unstuck. What kind of Jesus Christ? Did they use Elmer's? <laughs> no, they used an epoxy. <laughs> And I don't care what they're protesting or anything like that. I don't want to get into that shit. But even if you want to protest, like, dude, why epoxy your fucking hand to the cement? There's actual video of firefighters helping them, like, chisel their goddamn hands out, and the guys, like, yell it at them saying that hurts. Nothing? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. (laughs) Oh, you want to know what we think about it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Where are they at again? They're in Germany. Mm. (laughs) Well, I mean, a lot of crazy stuff's happened over in Germany. Oh, I hear. Uh, So I've heard they've got quite the history. They do. God, Norm MacDonald had the best fucking joke about that. Where he talks about Germany, and he's like, Germany, they uh, they went to war one time. You know who they went to war with? The world. <laughs> the world. And it was close. <laughs> <laughs> and so then what they what had happened was they uh, they said, okay, well, uh, the war ends. And then, and then they, they went to war again with the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just got to be like, hey, you, you can't be a country anymore. <laughs> 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 Norm Macdonald does it way better, but dude, the fucking that's actually great. a pretty good that impression. Is, that is a really good. That's impression. That's pretty good. Man. It's fucking oh. great, dude. That fucking his bit is great on that. Yeah. You got a whole bunch of impressions that we don't know about. I didn't know that that was an impression. <laughs> was that, that was it. Was that close? That's that it. Was pretty good. That's right. pretty good. Not too pretty, bad. If you didn't tell me that's who you were, I'd have figured it out. We'll break. <laughs> we'll break out the tarred Irishman a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. Oh, damn it! Touch um, of the tism to you. <laughs> Touch of the tism to you. Yeah, that's good shit. Uh, but no, uh, I, I would I would expect somebody if you. That's wanna, crazy. What that they glued What's their hands. What's that going to solve? Nothing. I, it's going to piss a lot of drivers like me off. I'm surprised nobody hit them. I am too. Because they can't they can't get out of the way. I know. But do you think if it were in America that they to, would get hit? What oh if, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody else is pretty peaceful. We're kind of. Oh, there's ass. no <laughs> doubt they would get. Their only thing that you would see is just from I, here, yeah. uh, from here up. Yeah, it's yeah, gone. It's gone. It's yeah. just a bunch yeah. of hands glued to the cement. I like to think that they were protesting the fact that glue just isn't strong enough <laughs> nowadays. Yeah, well, and then they're like, "Ah, oh, fuck, we were wrong. <laughs> we were wrong. Yeah. We we're wrong." Uh, yeah. Uh, think That's of a different. Crazy, t- think of a different way to protest, man. Just do, yeah. just do it. Just do it like normal people. Hold up signs. Yeah, yeah. your stupid, poor, homemade signs. Do that shit. Quit gluing yourself to pavement, you fucking idiot. And last but certainly not least, uh, Daniela uh, Hemsley, I believe is how it's pronounced. Yeah, Daniela Hemsley flashes the crowd after winning a boxing event uh, over the weekend. Okay. Surprised everybody. And uh, I don't know who she is. Was it a good flash then oh, or was it? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. I jerked yes. off to it many times. I didn't jerk off to it, but mm-hmm. let me tell you something. I jerked on to it. Those are That's- some nice fake boobies. I th- I'm a guessing they're fake. I'm guessing. I could be wrong, Okay. but I'm guessing they're fake. But they they have real skin on them, and they look real They good. have real skin? What if they didn't? It's just like an what's iPhone case for tits. That, right? it's, like, wow. it's an otter box for tits. So so <laughs> I did I did a little bit of research. I saw this, and I'm like, ah, good for her. I mean, like, that's one way. I mean, you're going to make everybody in the crowd happy, except for whoever brings their wife to a fight. And if you do that, you're an idiot. But uh, I was like, damn, that's going to make every guy in the crowd happy and everybody on Twitter because, you know, they don't have to censor shit. 
So I was like, that's pretty fucking awesome. Good for her. Nice tits. Moving on with my life. But then it just kept on coming up and coming up and coming up. It was like that chick of that screaming on the plane. That's guy's not fucking real. Same kind of shit just with tits. And I'm like, oh, God damn it. It's like that somebody is sponsoring this shit and putting it out there to promote their OnlyFans. So then I looked up. Um, yeah, she's got her OnlyFans. I bet you that son of a bitch has in, uh, increased in followers over the last couple of days. Yeah, dude. I can't believe there's anybody <laughs> that's not fucking in great shape or whatever that doesn't have one. I've I, got one. Yeah, Derek just doesn't I've, have right. any followers. Mm. Yeah, I do. Me. That's it. I do it for moral support. You do it for oral support. Is that what it is? I found a way in the back door so I don't have to subscribe. <laughs> You're a peeping mm. yeah, JP. My leaks corner. are on Reddit. Oh, is That's, that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, she really did. I think she has, uh, as far as like the picture of her after the fight, obviously she got her, she got hit, but she ended up winning. Uh, but the whole thing is, is like, I went to her Instagram page just to see. It's like, what does she actually look like with makeup on and stuff like that? She's fucking hot. She's like really fucking good looking. Hmm. So after uh, subscribing for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, she's pretty hot. She's okay, looking. yeah, she's pretty good you looking. Nine ninety nine at it. Sure huh? did. Good for you. If I got to pay ten bucks for somebody good looking like that to flash me when I watch a pay per view, pretty good. You know, you could have just paused it and took a picture, and then you didn't have to pay nine ninety nine. But I didn't want to see. You paid nine ninety nine for the fight. No, no, for the only for the only fans. Yeah, okay. oh, yeah. And then on. you could have emailed that picture to yourself <clears throat> and printed it out, Scre- screenshot, and then print it out. Yeah, yeah, just send it. Yeah, you're right. I did that. God, I was watching somebody. He was I talking used about your print. printer. He was talking. To, Bert Kreischer was talking about his kid, or somebody was talking about their kid print, printing out fucking pictures and jacking off to him at the fully loaded show that I went to last week. <laughs> Were you, well, I'm surprised you didn't call I'm me. Fucking dying laughing about it. Uh, did you like? Who did you go to? The full, you went with your wife, right? Yes. Did you poke your wife and go, Scotty did that shit? No, she knows already. <laughs> Oh, all right. lots of people know. <laughs> lots Scotty. of people yeah. know. I uh, have told lots of people. Uh, My we, aunt from Canada knows now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm growing in popularity. Yeah, about once a month, I'll pay ten dollars and put it on the video board in the fifth <laughs> inning. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it is what it is, Derek. You know what? I didn't have access to, you know nudie magazines in my house so i had to make them uh just if they're homemade <laughs> oh I cut, yeah. cut the tips off here cut the pussy off this one i can't mash wait. them all together i can't wait for scotty to have fucking kids and then whatever the fucking like them we got mcdonald's at home dad can we get a dirty magazine we got dirty magazines at home here <laughs> I never got these when I was a kid. You boys should have this. You should know what to do. Print them it's off. It's a fucking three ring binder. <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that your baseball card collection? Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, showing my kid how and to how to do things. You know. How did you even get that thing open? <laughs> Everything stuck together. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh uh, shit. Uh, did, <laughs> yeah. Did you have anything else sports related? No. Anything at all? No. How about anything related to anything that you wanted to discuss? I just discussed a whole bunch of shit about necks and emails and <sighs> Okay. A lot of a lot of good you are. Yeah, that's, I, that's why we did the week week thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Fine. Uh, that is this week's current events anyways. Uh, but now we get to move on and actually have some fun. I'm starting to get in a little bit peppier of a mood. How about you guys? peppier of a mood yeah like myself as well are you really mm-hmm. I, I don't i don't agree you're actually kind of down over there Jeff. no i'm not down am i I'm bringing just, you down well derek is but you, <laughs> you're not bringing me back up <laughs> but you're not bringing me back it's up a, like normal it's, it's a fucking aura yeah. it's just something about him i'm yeah. fucking pumped <laughs> I'm fucking pumped. <laughs> Derek's the happiest one on the show today. Yeah. That should, that should, we should have just fucking done this tomorrow. The only time you will or see me happy just, is after the last show I ever do. Oh, man. He'll be smiling so big. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to fucking wipe it off. <laughs> Fine. Uh, but, anyways, that is current events. Now we get to actually have fun. This is the fun parts of the do show. Do now? We do. Okay. We do. I'm very excited about this. We've got all kinds of time so we can just elaborate the fuck out of all of this stuff that we got coming up. So anyways, we're going to kick this thing off with overrated or underrated. Uh, we're going to go with the first one. It is overrated or underrated Instagram filters. Hmm. Overrated. Okay. Why? 
Well, the obvious reason. So because what? you see some dude on there and he's fucking buff and look fucking all hot. And you, you can't the, tell? Yeah, you can tell. Okay. You just, you're just appointed when you see the real thing. All right, just stalk him like you do to Derek. You'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, that's all you got to do. But overrated for you? Sure. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go underrated. Sometimes it makes people look pretty good. And uh, they got fun ones, man. They got fun ones that I, I actually like that I think uh, make shit funny. So I'm going to go underrated. Okay. Derek? Overrated. Okay. I don't use Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? No, I have one. I think I've posted on it. Oh, God, the last time. It's been like three years since I've posted anything. Really? Yeah, I don't give a shit. No, no. no wonder why. I like to live life in the moment. How about filters for anything? I mean, you got camera filters, Snapchat filters. I don't use those either. You don't use those either? No, I don't oh, even God. use the filters on my iPhone. It's just, all right, photo, done. All right, let's go back to real life now. A lot of people need to know something about you. You hate taking pictures, I too. fucking hate you it. You hate it. My wife will be like, all right, here we go, and I'm just like... Oh fuck! There's a there's actually a picture of Derek and myself. He he took me to a a Cardinals and Cubs game at Bush Stadium. One of the best. Tried days. to leave him there. <laughs> One of the best days. Son of a bitch found his way back to the car. <laughs> I yeah. sure did. Even after I blindfolded him and spun him around yeah. in circles before we went in. <laughs> yeah. Put a bag over his head the whole way there. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but no, I we went to a game and like I was really excited to go. It was my first Cardinal game actually. And so I was like, hey, man, take a picture. And I take a picture of both of us. And here I am smiling. And Derek's just like, God damn it. He got it. He got a fucking picture of me. That's exactly what your face says. Yeah, that's a, usually that's what my face says. All, like I said, I got rest and suicide face. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah. But I don't like the way I take pictures, man. My nose looks red. I look downsy. I don't, <laughs> I don't like fucking <laughs> taking pictures. You start speaking Irish. Maybe they'll be able to tell that in a photo. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, next one. Over I like a fat possum. A fat possum. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't know. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Having a super powerful sense of smell. I'm going to go underrated. Really? Here's why. Okay. Um, I've had COVID twice, and my smell is not right. Okay. Um, I can now literally walk. Like one of my favorite things that I, one of my favorite smells is my own brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now all my shits smell the same. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I like to know when I fucked a bathroom up. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> just, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, just assume you always fuck it up. Okay? I have no idea. Like, so I, can I, let, I can tell you right now, <laughs> I would never walk into a bathroom. I don't never, not I, for an hour after you were in there. I have no, doing that. I have no, no idea. No way. So you may think I seem like a smug prick. <laughs> but I can literally walk around like my shit don't stink <laughs> because I don't think it does. <laughs> so you're going to say underrated, though. You miss because that. I'm, I'm, dude, I love Dutch oven and my wife. Now I don't know if it's a good time to or not. <laughs> you can't feel it being warm. I can feel that, but I don't know if it's a bad one or not. Oh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm helping you. The, no, it's the, all bad. The, no, because there were times back when I had a decent sense of smell. Like I could cut them and I'd be like, oh, okay. I'm in the clear here. I can sit and rip them all day. My wife's not going to know. And then there's times where I'm like, oh, usually if they stink, it's because I need to shit. <laughs> but, but I'm one of those people. I can fart all, I'll fart a hundred times a fucking day. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I can't belch. It all comes out the ass. <laughs> I anally burp. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. If I drink a bunch of beer, everybody's like, Bleh. I'm like, <laughs> I can't burp. This is true. I've actually uh, never hmm. seen you burp. It makes no. perfect sense, though. Hmm. Yeah. You, yeah. What have you got, JP? Hmm. So, uh, a super powerful sense of smell may actually do you pretty good. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fucking overrated. Oh, okay. Maybe. Really? Well, You'd well, be like a drug dog, man. You overrated. Smell. Okay. Why? Because then I could just smell pussy. <laughs> And that doesn't good. seem good. I, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem like something I wanted to do. And JP's for that. I eat ass. Yeah, that's, so. <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, I, 
Plus, not only well, that. that's your own damn fault. Yeah, JP. it is. That is your own fault. It's just what I like. I know. But you are actually forward enough of a person. You you legitimately have absolutely no care in the world walking up to a woman that you do not know and just look at her in the face and then look at her crotch and look back up at her and go, ma'am, you are fucking ripe. I, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I would say, bitch, your pussy stinks. <laughs> 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 Fine, I, yeah. I, I stand corrected. Yeah, no, I, I definitely. That's me. I would like to know. I would have loved to have known that power back in my twenties. Really? Fuck yeah. Smell them in heat. Smelling if it was terribly smelling, then oh, I know okay. not to go down there. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I actually. Oh man, this is getting tough. We never, do we have we never talked about Janet? No. Jackson? No. My oh. mother? The girl I tried to fuck in a cornfield. No, we We've have never not, talked about Janet. No. What? Mm. Okay, were you straight at the time? No, but I I lived up in a very small town in northern Kansas. <laughs> lived with my grandma, and she looked like a dude, didn't she? No, oh, no, but I mean, he called. He didn't. Call I her wasn't grandma. out. It was okay. This is the type of place where they'd hang you from a fence. Oh, okay, so, all right. You know what I mean? And he didn't call her grandma. He called her Janet. Mm. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not. Touche. No. That's, Janet's an old name. <laughs> anyway, okay, man. I end up in this cornfield with this chick, and uh, I start going down on her, and I promise to God I got to her belly button, <laughs> and I had to come back up for air. <laughs> I have never smelled anything like that. I have smelled some pretty rancid shit, like the foundry <laughs> down off Broadway. Oh, have you ever, yeah. <laughs> made it smell like roses. <laughs> like, I would fucking live in the foundry before I would fucking go back there again. And I only made it to the belly button. That's bad. And so I was so horny, though. And so what I did is just fucking put two condoms on and fucked her anyway. <laughs> oh, Dude, my God. My car. <laughs> Oh my God. I had a Delta 88, 86 <laughs> Delta 88 Brome edition. So it was all tufted fabric and oh, yeah. just really nice. But that's that nice tufted fabric. It locked in the smell <laughs> or some, something. It was, dude, I power washed. This is not even a joke. I power washed the inside of that car <laughs> trying to get that smell out of there. Oh. And I couldn't. That's what did it. That's dude, what, and no, I was already gay, but. <laughs> That was that was one of the last times I ever fucked with a chick. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like ninety seven percent gay. Okay, all right. Every now and then, man. I know, but you got to think for pink, and I understand it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, but uh, and Justin, yeah, man. And Justin Bieber, and I. Oh, yeah, that's man. I seen some pictures it's of an Justin ugly Bieber woman, today. But but I mean, mm, it's okay. Mm, mm. Um, I, but yeah, I, man. I, I'm gonna go overrated. I'm with Derek. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm with you. Not with Derek. I'm definitely not with Derek. I, I do not want to have the strongest like smell because that just makes it so much worse. And you think it's like, well, I could smell, you Flowers, know, like all of the all the pleasant smells. But if you have a super strong nose, I don't think those are the ones that are gonna pique your attention. Yeah, right. I it's agree. gonna be the bad ones. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. I don't want to experience. I'm with you. That. Yep. So no. No on that one. Next one, overrated or underrated, Amish parties. Underrated. Way underrated. Those Have you seen Amish guys? They are yeah. fucking ripped. Dude, not only that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All that barn raising and butter churning, it does a body good. <laughs> Those motherfuckers go off. When they're when you're sheltered like that, yeah. and holy oh, fuck, yeah, you man. let every inhibition down oh, and go yeah. crazy. Oh, yeah. You start, that some yeah. of them don't go back to Amish life after Rum Springer. Like yeah, they're know. like, yeah. yeah, you know what? Fuck that. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna do yeah. this every day. Yeah, yeah. fuck raising yeah. barns. Yeah, Molly was my sister. Now it's my, my favorite, favorite thing. drug. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you take a group of people that think milking is except what's it called. Is that milking? Soaking. Soaking. Thank you. Soaking. Yeah. Soaking is an acceptable practice yeah. in certain orgasms. Milking is something that, that's on a table. That's different. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's different. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they do that too. I don't know. Amish people are fucking crazy. But the other thing is, is that have you ever seen like uh, the horse and buggies or horse and carriages whenever it's like snowing and icy out? No. They're out fucking doing donuts with the horse pulling the goddamn uh, buggy or whatever. They have great personalities and they know what it is like to have fun when Whenever the time calls for it, but you're 100 percent correct. I've heard. I've heard. What is it called? Rum Springer. Rum Springer. Rum yeah. Springer is like, uh, whoo, goddamn, yeah. Uh, so I'm saying it's way, way, way underrated. 
be a Jerry good. Rumspringer. Mm-hmm. He's there mm. at every one. That's why they call it that. So, you know, it's what they're starting to do now. The Amish, uh, they're starting to get uh, horse and buggy simulators. Oh, are they? <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way they can. You know, when you don't want to be out. You're learning to ride the horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. started doing the simulator. Deal. That's good. Much safer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And now they start off with a hobby horse and buggy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it actually has practical use now. All right, next yeah, one. you got to be really strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like really strong. That's how they get ripped, actually. Mm, yeah. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, shock collars for children. Underrated. Yeah? Fuck kids. Do they have those? <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that, Derek. What? Don't fuck kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got in trouble bad. for that, huh? <laughs> yeah. He has to yeah. hand out letters everywhere he that. goes. That's why he couldn't come out to the ball games and stuff like that for the mm. longest time, because he had to print letters out first. <laughs> <laughs> he has to actually go to everybody Every, in his section yeah, and let them know. And let them know, hey, I diddle children. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. God, no, I don't have hey, to do diddle, that. Hey, diddle, diddle. I don't have to do that. He only comes on Sundays because kids run the bases. <laughs> yeah, right, right. right. Uh, I came dressed as home plate once. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got to slide into home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, I, 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 I think this is way underrated. And, and not necessarily just for. Do they I, really have these things, man? Uh, well, they have them for dogs, and right. I know and that a child put them on kids, and they should. Well, if I had a child, they would have them for kids. <laughs> so, yeah, they have. I, them. I'd paint it whatever color you want it, just mm-hmm. to make it look good. But yeah, they. I think certain kids definitely need these things. Gay kids, shock them out of it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't whole conversion therapy. I just here's the thing. I I uh, I think that whenever you have one of those children that are just absolute little shits, which is probably eighty percent of them, because eighty percent of parents nowadays are little shits too. Um, I, I think it'd be nice to have like a remote control thing that you don't have to chase those little bastards around Walmart or the grocery store. You can just zap the shit out of them and they just <laughs> fall over. And that you're not running, you're not not you know get, not getting winded. I think that would be an easy way to just. All zap, right, man. Fuck that kid. And last but not least, overrated or underrated Braille porn magazines. Underrated, man. A good good thing that they have these for blind people. I think it's great. I'm going to say overrated. Why? Because I don't want to be the second guy to read that magazine. <laughs> <laughs> good I, point. I, I, <laughs> no <laughs> thanks. So Braille porn. So it's all bumpy and then whoop, uh-huh. you just lose a finger? Yeah, they've got Braille so it tells uh-huh. you what's going on and then it's just bumpy so you can <clears> feel. <throat> the first time I ever saw it was in Robin Hood Men in Tights when, when uh, fucking <laughs> Lincoln. Lincoln is in the yeah, bathroom yeah, taking his shit, cupping some, there, tits. cupping some titties. And I thought it was fucking brilliant. Yeah, all right, man. So uh, I'm going to say underrated. I'm good, with you. Underrated. Good, good for them. I'm but, glad that yeah, they man. have something to go They also make Braille genitals. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> but what herpes oh uh, got it genital warts <laughs> that's disgusting show me herpes uh, <laughs> all right that's good <laughs> <laughs> no thank you don't want to see it thank you okay uh that is overrated or underrated again if you have any suggestions for any of these segments you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on instagram and at lot sidelines on twitter start following us there because that is most likely where the uh the Irish Tard will be allowed to be played starting uh, Wednesday. So, yeah, follow us at LOT Sidelines there. All right, now we get to move on to the next segment, which is What Would You Do? These are situations that uh, I found that I don't know if they're actual real situations or anything like that, but I'm thinking that they are for us. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. So this is What Would We Do in These Situations? First one, What Would You Do? You find a hidden camera in the shower of your hotel room. Washing my asshole very close to the <laughs> lens. That is exactly what I'm doing. Really? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I know my wife didn't like seeing it. I'm sure those people aren't either. They have no idea who I am. Are you going to tell your wife? No. You're not going to tell your wife? No, she's just not going to get in the shower. I'm oh, not well, going to allow her well, to get in. That's what I'm saying. you yeah. got to tell your wife, like, day, don't get in there. Yeah. But you have to have some kind of answer of why. I, I like I like it. I like it ripe. <laughs> oh, God. Please, honey. I would fart and fog the lens up. <laughs> <laughs> Just shit and wipe it on there. No. Oh, okay. No. It's a hotel room. It's not your house. I know. Okay. But they have they put your card on file for incidentals. Yeah. 
I uh, that is an incidental. This I, I, I'm I'm going to tell you guys something I don't think I've ever told anybody before, at least on the show. You used to put, <clears throat> put, put video cameras in no. showers. You're and racist. Hotels. No, I have an actual fear of this. Oh yeah, like a genuine. You really think fear. that? I, I I have seen like now. Granted, a lot of them. It's it's well, of bullshit. Of course, it's bullshit. <clears throat> but whenever I do, you don't ever see the real ones. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, no, you no. Don't. I I believe you. Somebody does. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but exactly. You don't. Uh, and it's not. It's not like I'm. I'm not proud of what I got or anything like that. It's just like no, you know, I wouldn't be. <laughs> I'm, yeah, because I am very proud of what I'm packing. But no, I, seriously, dude, I it makes me very un- shut up. It makes me very uncomfortable. Goddamn! Imagine if he had my cock. Uh, de- he would. My I thought God. he has. Why do you yeah. think I have back problems, JP? Oh, you wouldn't have back problems. Hip problems. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, it's all in the, the hips. hips. That's yeah, right. It's all in the hips. I genuinely do have an absolute fear of this. Yeah, it okay. really scares the shit out of me. And it, Why? And it, uh, it, I don't want to be fucking exposed like that. You're not exposed. It's only one fucking dude sitting in a fucking attic somewhere. It's you. Fucking jerking. <laughs> what he do? Let him have his fun. No. So that's what I would do. I would go f- try to find whoever was recording and Dude, see if they had any g- other pull good the footage. camera yeah, out yeah. and fucking follow Trace the wire. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. <clears throat> of course, check out would. some of the other footage. He's probably pissed because you don't have a girl with him. Well, maybe, not, maybe not. Or with you, I mean. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. I almost drank that absolute god off. Don't shit. do it, man. I, why do people drink I that don't stuff? No, it is bad. I will. It say. It costs them ten cents to make, and they probably sell it for like three dollars. Three dollars a can. Uh-huh. All day long, people Crazy. are fuck, people are fucking, fucking suckers, man. Rich white people. It's, I'm not surprised you have it in your house. My wife's rich, not me. You're rich. Man. She has all my money. No, she doesn't have any of your money. Do you not know you how marriage works? You keep all your money, dude. No, I don't. We've talked about this before. You yeah. all have your own money. This is true. And you spend your money, and you spend her money. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You buy snowboards and golf clubs. That's yeah, true. Right. Uh, next one. What would you do? You find that the person you are severely attracted to can queef on command. I had no idea. <laughs> it's Derek. You can queef? Yeah. Yeah. Meef. <laughs> Meef. Oh. Meef. Um, queef I, on command. I saw a video of this. Well, see, that could be, I have to say, um, what would I do? Wonder what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> because nobody that I'm attracted to should be able to queef. <laughs> that's true. But for you, in your particular situation, a it's a me. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's good. No, it can't be. No. I saw a video of, of somebody on TikTok that was dressed up like Wonder Woman or Superwoman or whatever. And she was like doing it on command. And it was utterly fucking disgusting oh and attractive my she was attractive God. and she was doing oh yeah like acting like she was jumping and you can tell whenever she like yeah. used her abs and it went <laughs> like that and it was just like wow you are a fucking whore like that's awful that's awful. The, the, no. Is it like a fart every now and then? You think it's a fart, yeah. but something comes out? Oh, how, I don't know. A, I don't want to work? know. I don't want to involve myself. Uh, that is a giant red flag for both you and me for different yeah. reasons. All right, man. So that's, uh, Thank that's, you for putting that one in. Absolutely. I'm glad. I'm just making it worse for you. How about you, Derek? Jennifer Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Johnson. Third grade. No. That actually is a true story. Oh, no. Yes. There is a girl that I ended up kind of dating in high school uh, that I used to have a big crush on, and we ended up dating, and she could do that. Do I need to beep out the name? No. No, he already said it. Jennifer yeah. Johnson. It's been fucking... It's probably not even her last name anymore. Oh, okay, that's fine then. And it's well, been... not if she can do that. She landed... <laughs> surely she landed a man. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are into creepy shit, man. It's yeah. just what it's it is. It's been 24 years ago. I don't give a shit. <laughs> she would sit in... There was a day that we were sitting in her living room, and then all of a sudden I start hearing, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? I look over, and she's sitting with her legs spread, and I'm listening to her queefing. Wow. And I was like, is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> and she's just started giggling. And then it. Because that's what you laugh at, you know. Yeah. We didn't date a whole lot. That's when, I get the, <laughs> that's when I get the holy water. That, now, that was, you know, mutual. Demons it was mutual. Gone. But we, that wasn't why we stopped dating. But it wasn't? Was, no. <clears throat> no. I, it, we were both just weird. And uh, <laughs> You still are. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that didn't no, really I, We change. were. I said were as in like. 
she was. I don't know if she still is or still is weird or not. I am fucking weird. Yeah. That's so, true. but she could totally do that. Okay. That is true. And she also didn't like the time that when we went on a date and we went for a walk, and I watched a cat get hit by a car, <laughs> and you and laughed, I, and I laughed. My ass <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. And then she was like freaked out she about didn't it, like that. and nice. wanted me to uh, get the cat off out of the middle of the road. Oh fuck that. Yeah. So I took a rake and slap shot at it in the storm drain. <laughs> oh. So, wow. That might have had something to do with why we didn't date much longer after that yeah queefy cat all lady. of a sudden do i know? don't feel so good <laughs> you don't the cat no it's the queef <laughs> okay uh next one what would you do you accidentally have an affair with your spouse's twin accidentally <laughs> hey it could happen it legitimately could happen identical twins i would hard. say i would okay i would say well I've already fucked you both. Let's all do it at the same time. <laughs> that is fucking weird. That's what I would say. I couldn't That's, do that. Oh, I could. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. Now that we're getting into this particular conversation. So for girls to do that, I think is a little bit more acceptable. Do gay twin guys do that shit? There's these check. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. <laughs> so there are these Czech tw- there are these Czechoslovakian twins. Holy And they're fuck. gay and their whole thing is yeah they they yeah they fuck. That is fucking weird, man. And they're on TikTok. I'm sure they are. <laughs> and uh only fans as well. Oh great. And that's why Oh. Yeah, that's why I'm broke. <laughs> Only fan subscriptions. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. yeah. Well. Derek? So. Yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. Oh, well, you had a question? <laughs> yeah. Would, uh... What would you do? What would you do, man? Not say shit. <laughs> Not say shit? I think it's like... Don't I don't they know how you know. They You're, have to know. You have to be set up at that right. point, Right, so they like, know. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, question, 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 question. Okay. Identical twin? Yes. <laughs> 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 I didn't know, honey. I yeah. thought it was you, I yeah. swear. You knew that was my brother. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh. His name is Ken, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I can imagine somebody totally getting catfished by an identical twin. Yeah. I can see that happening. Yeah. Sure. So, so that's at that point, that is, that's the twins' fault. It's, it's 100% oh, the twins' fault. Oh, for sure. Fault. It's yeah. not your so fault. I would, you wouldn't really not have to not say shit. It would, you wouldn't know. Yeah, right. Would you tell her? You, you wouldn't, wouldn't know. know. The uh, twin would have to tell I her. I think yet. you would know. I think you would know. <laughs> I think you would know. So I like to think twins are... No matter are, how identical... Maybe she queefs on command. No matter how, how identical... If you're fucking somebody, you know if it's not the person you've I been like to, fucking. Yeah, I like to think. The yeah, twin, I think so. Yeah, I like to think the twin knows because you know, like if like one twin gets hurt and then the other one's like, "Oh, dude, I think my brother's hurt." Yeah, I think and she's like, "God damn, my vagina feels like it's getting penetrated right now." <laughs> I I think my sister's fucking my husband. <laughs> it's all tinkly. <laughs> I Has anyone it's seen Dave and Christy? Yeah. Oh God! And they like sympathy fake orgasms together. Like, that's oh, that'd be weird. <clears throat> no, I, I like if I'm put in that particular situation, I'm, I can't keep anything from. I obviously think of my wife when I'm thinking of that. This so. I couldn't keep anything from her. I'd have to come out and tell her honestly. Yeah, well. I I did something, but I didn't know. And is there any possibility we could figure out a way to just do it together, all three of us? That's what I yes, think it comes down to. Yeah, right. I think I want to do it with both. JP is 100% correct oh, in yeah. this regard. So, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, next oh one. Oh, my God. What? If they could both penetrate me at the same time. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, oh, I'm starting. That's Man, I may have, to bow. I may have to bow out on the rest of this episode. I okay. need to go to the car. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, next one. Your son just got accused of having relations with his teacher who you wanted to ask out. High five uh, him. Yeah. I'm high five him. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking telling him, add a kid. 
son, but move over. It's daddy's turn. Have, oh. have you seen teachers now? I'm high five. If he would have done that in 1994, mm-hmm. I'd been like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this is true. What this, is your pro- what's your problem? Yeah, this is 100% true. I never had a hot teacher, did you? No. No. <clears throat> Not they, one. They were all in their like early 40s, late 50s. And overweight, it, it was not a good thing. I had one hot teacher. Did you really? You're you were born in the '60s, weren't you? '50s. F- oh, '50s. Oh my bad. What? I'm fucking with you, JP. God damn it! Don't look at me like that. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Early '80s. Late seventies. Ah, <laughs> I tried to make up for it. Yeah, See what I well, did there? you fucked that up too. I know. Uh, but no, you had a hot teacher. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guy or girl? Of course a guy. Okay, well, then that's bullshit. No, but there were girl ones, too. Okay. There, I had more hot women teachers than men. Well, that's weird. Yeah, we, we had quite a few. Had, Mrs. Had Smith, my social studies teacher. Oh, uh, she got older. shit, she was hot. She man. got older, and then she did she not be, super, stay hot. She was super hot. And then our uh, we had a... Spanish teacher that came right as I was getting ready to graduate. Yeah. Um, holy shit. She those was hot. The, those are the hot ones. The Spanish teachers are the hot ones. And then the other Let's Spanish talk. teacher, the dude, uh, he wasn't hot, but he ended up fucking all the high school girls. Well, that's... And he would come to, like, all of our parties, and he was a little wrestling coach, too. And That's yeah. fucking weird. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was. I, I I'm I'm tipping my cap. I will not go. At, I will not pursue that teacher any longer. My son has beat me to the the punch, as it were. Yeah, good and job, I, son. I can't lose to my son that way. But it also would be kind of funny to be later in the relationship with said teacher and be like, "Hey, we fucked the same chick, Eskimo Bros." But that's also kind of a dig on you. So maybe not. What if your son's like in third grade? <laughs> <laughs> then they, then you call the authorities. Yeah. yeah. Do or you? no, you call her and you say, if you don't, if you don't <laughs> fucking get over here and fucking take care of me, I'm telling someone. Yeah, no. you call, yes, you call, you cops. call your cops. Of course you do. Duh. I don't know. I lots of teachers. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> fucking, that's disgusting. All like, right. I lost my virginity when I was eight. Yeah. Uh, and last but not least, what would you do? Unbeknownst to you, you or sorry, your spouse made plans to do something you don't want to do. That's every day. Yeah, isn't it? I'm not married. I've never been technically married, but that's but when that, I was okay. when I was in my long term relationship. That's close enough. That was pretty much in every time that he wanted to do something. I didn't want to fucking do it, but I did it anyway. Otherwise, I wouldn't get head oh, later. You, you would go, so you would go along with it. No, for sure. No, I I accidentally double book myself, but I accidentally do that a lot. So yeah, well you're a dick. True. So I am very very yeah. accepting of how who I am. No, I myself. know, and I love that oh, about okay, you. That all right, you just did, you know. Yeah, I do. I you're know. Un- unapologetically just fucking. No. You don't do anything Scotty doesn't want to do. No, it's that's it, not always the case. No, I it, think it is. No, if it's if it's ever including uh, uh, something along the lines of hey. I told my mom we're going to go over to her house and we're going to hang out for a little bit. And I just go, I just go, uh, I'm, I've already booked something else. I'm playing golf with so-and-so. I'm, I, I have to go into work. It's Sunday. I got to go in there. There's something going on that I need to be it's, a part of. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> I'm preparing for something. That's it's on a my car mind. lot emergency, honey. <laughs> yeah. They need me. They need me there. I got to do something. Yeah. So no, I am an asshole. I am not going if I don't want to go. Derek. Um, Again, question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always got to be a whole fucking thing. It's um, fine. Is it, did she make plans that for me of it's something she thought I was going to want to do? No. Well, that's even or worse. Or is it something that she just is like, hey, I would rather it just be something she would do. Because yeah, you know when they try to make plans that they <laughs> think so, that it's something that you'll like to do? So, do they ever get that right? My wife does. Oh, she does? Well, yeah, your yeah. wife is actually. She's pretty. Wife, I love cool. Katie. Yeah, she's I do too. pretty goddamn awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And she for, is awesome. For this reason, because... Like you were saying, is it always something? It's always something I want to do. Yeah. Whether I'm dragging her to a baseball game, she's watched yeah. my tired ass yeah. jokes a million fucking times. Yeah. If there's something that she wants to go do, by God, we're going to fuck. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Because I've drug her to so much shit that I yeah. know she has no fucking interest in. Yeah. Our first wedding anniversary was a goddamn Bears game. So nice. we're doing Good what f- she wants to do. Good for her. That is, that's awesome. That's, 
it. That's and she's she's an awesome person. She uh, deserves it. Yeah, she yeah. does. That's cool. Um, my wife That's has been ha, my wife has been trying to set up a particular date for us to celebrate our anniversary as well. At one of the nicest, she wants um, to celebrate. Yeah, oh, at one of the nicest like <laughs> private dining restaurants that are in our area. Yeah. that we have a gift card to get paid for by Where? somebody Where else. Is that a- Elderly, f- el- 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 Eberly Eberly farm. farm. Okay, I've been told. I, I hey, don't look at me about this, but I have put it off. That's the nicest place. One of she said it, one of the nicest places. I don't know. It's a oh, private yeah. dining and it's home, it's whatever. But That's here's cool, man. here's the deal. I didn't know that. I put it off Eberly for two farm. years because I don't want to fucking go. That's the kind of yeah. She, yeah, and so. she still stays with you. Yeah. Why? Look, she's pretty. She's she's got options. Hip hip problems, dog. I ain't lying. Hip problem? Yeah. She has hip problems? I do. You do? Yeah. So she has to take care of you? Sure. All right. Never mind. That's another reason Get for her to Get there faster. Leave. It's that big, man. I doubt it. Yeah. I seriously doubt it. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Yeah, I can tell by your hands. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're Pre- welcome. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, all right. All right. That's fine. God. I'm going to be a lot more positive from this point on. Okay, man. Okay. All right. I'm so excited. Here we go. I, the I real show counting, starts now. I am counting. I'm going to poke Derek. If I'm, I'm not. I'm going to fuck you up here. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. Keep poking me. I'm not. I just talk. I, I'm handsy today. Okay. Yeah. Right, Derek? You're handsy a lot. So. <laughs> I know. All right. Put the pen down. Okay. Say thank you. Good job. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> and I bet I'm not the only <laughs> one. I'm over here like directing a fucking orchestra right next to his head. Fucking pen out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking give me that son of a bitch. All I right. need to mark sometimes. Anyways. All right. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. I'm just going to take your phone now. I'm just going to do this. Okay. No, I won't. I'm not that much of an asshole. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for these, again, send them to us. We would appreciate it. Um, let's have fun. Okay. Okay. Let's right, do it. Let's do yeah. it. Let's have some fun, baby. All right. First question. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's good. Uh, first question is what? I'm sorry. What are some signs that you are employed by an evil organization? The tank full of sharks with giant laser beams on their heads. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with you are elected is what I'm going to go with. Or if it's in D.C. Derek? Well, that was kind of mine. Damn mine it. said that your title says congressman. There it is. That's, uh, all right, there you go. Okay, uh, next question. I can sum up life in three words. Blank, blank, and blank. Fuck this shit. Uh, dude. That is what I have. That is what I have as well. Uh, God damn it. I put, uh, I'd rather die. And uh, use a condom. Okay. That's mine. JP? Never enough cock. (laughs) Oh, God. Of course it's not. You can't get enough, right? Never. I figured so. I've tried. (laughs) (laughs) Got Mr. Fister. There was one Saturday night in Oklahoma City. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just, I mean, there was, but I'll say, I'll spare you the details. All right. Uh, Next question. Heaven, sorry. Heaven would be awesome if there weren't so many blanks. Lesbians. They get allowed in? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. God loves all his creatures. Okay. That's that's fair. That's fair. He uh, isn't lesbians. Okay. Um I'm I'm gonna go with This is uh, a weird question though. No, I think it's very acceptable though. Um fuck. I've got Christians. I would say I was yeah. Right. I, yeah, I, I knew that's that a was, good one. If there weren't yeah, so many I of these of damn cr- yeah. these goddamn Christians yeah, yeah. in heaven. I'm one. I'm a Christian. But here's here's my actual way too long of an answer for an answer. It's it's I, I'm a Christian, but I'm not that guy. Yeah, I'm not the guy that pushes it on everybody. I'm yeah. never that guy, and I'm also not the one who looks at the religion as like meeting Tom Cruise from behind the gate and stuff and freaking mm-hmm. the fuck out. Those people take those people the fuck out, and heaven would be cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think. Um Heaven would be awesome if there weren't so many suicide bombers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's that true. Is, that is true as well. Way too many virgins. Way too, too many yeah. people can't, people can't right. fuck. That's so yeah. bad. Okay, uh, next question. 
My new favorite game, strip blank. Bowling. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're going to meet somebody good at bowling. Or not. <laughs> and then you always get to see them naked. All right. That's fine. Uh, I did, uh, inspired by Derek, I put uh, strip trivial pursuit. Okay. Where we'd win. I would every time. I would just yeah. I would I would lose. So I would just come in and be like, "All right," and just start taking off clothes. <laughs> I am not that good at trivia. Yeah, I did also uh, strip water balloon fight. That'd be cool. Yeah, the water balloon, whatever yeah, piece whatever of clothing piece it hit. Clothing yeah, it that's okay. that's a good one. Right. Uh, and then I obviously you got to put twister in there, man. Make a twister. Strip yeah. paintball. Make- that would be Ouch. fucked up. That Ouch. would hurt. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. soft. Yeah. Oh. Way. God damn it. That would, like, even when they're naked, you're just like, you don't look mm-hmm. great because you got fucking welts all over yeah, your body. Man. Fuck. I don't know why I want that. How about you, Derek? Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm fucking dominant <laughs> at Mario Kart. <laughs> you're, get, you're staying fully uh, close. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember I was playing strip poker with this chick whenever I was in, like, I was in my early 20s. And uh, she didn't know how to play poker, and it was the best. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, oh, man. She had, like, she had a, what did she have, like, a full house? And I was like, oh, all reds. It's a full <laughs> house all reds. every time. <laughs> Take your panties off. Like, that's like fucking John Candy and Stripes. It's like, come on, push me. All right, I'm in. What do you got? Oh, see, if you would have had three fours, you would have won. But you had two fours, so I win. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, last question. Side effects may include excessive weight gain, depression, and loneliness. Ask your doctor about blank. Apparently, whatever the fuck I'm on, I'm going to guess ibuprofen. <laughs> That's about <laughs> how I say. <laughs> Take ibuprofen for headaches. Apparently, I've got yeah. a sue. Yeah. Members mark. Weight gain, <laughs> depression, and loneliness. Yeah, that sounds like my That's life. fucking dead on for me. Yeah. Uh, ask your doctor about children. Uh, you have children. That's uh, where you're going to go. JP. You ask your doctor about being 45 years old and gay and single. <laughs> and that, that'll that's, happen. yeah, that, that'll happen. That'll happen. Okay. That's weight fine. gain, depression, loneliness. Yeah, I got it all. Okay. I'm going to throw a bonus question in here that we got to do off the top of our heads. Okay. Okay. I already did all these off the top of my head. <clears throat> I know you, you did. Yeah, yeah. You didn't write it down. Uh, we're going to actually do one more question. What should you never yell during sex? Geronimo? <laughs> that would be okay. Yeah, I don't know. You think that what would kill- should you not yell during sex? Rape. Yeah, see. Well, it depends if it's involuntary. <laughs> right. Is that right? right? Yeah, right. I mean, true. sometimes there is an appropriate time to yell that during sex. That's Correct. true. Yeah. But I don't think you, I don't think you should. No, you keep quiet like a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take it like daddy yeah. said. <laughs> good call, you, Scotty. Then you get a starburst. <laughs> then you can have a starburst. That's fucking gross. And only then. <laughs> and if you don't do it right, you're getting the orange one or the lemon one. Okay, fair enough. How about you, Derek? Your mom's name. Oh. Oh, hey, there you go. Your ex's name. Ooh. Your ex-mom's name. Ouch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got her. Oh, I didn't mean to push the. Got trigger. him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, that's bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at Twitter, which is at L O T Sidelines. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, don't even remember what we draft. What we draft? I don't fucking know. You won. I probably did. Yeah. JP, you remember what we drafted? Uh, yeah, Worst Inventions. That's right. Yeah, that, that's I can't right. believe I lost. I can't either. Spray on hair. I, I no love. Fucking, I had a good fucking... I think Derek Why probably not? took it home with the uh, the portable dog sack that you hang out <laughs> yeah, in your car. Dude, that thing was awesome. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I ordered one. Did you? Yeah. Good for you. But just don't put a dog in there. Put like, a cat in there. No, I'm not. <laughs> Do you order the sack or the car? <laughs> the sack. Okay. Oh, okay. Now you just got to get a dog. Right. <laughs> or a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep him outside. Let's just go with dog, JP. Let's okay. set our sights a little That's lower. That's true. I can buy a dog. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't afford a boyfriend. Poor dog. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this week's draft is going to be a fun one. Uh, because I took dead last, I get the first pick. I'm going to need all the help I can get. JP took second, so that means he's the sandwich, as he likes to be in the middle of the Eiffel Tower. And uh, Derek gets to be the last. He gets championship picks. And this week, this week's draft is going to be people who annoy you. I like it. Things that people do that annoy the shit out of you. It's not. It's people, people not, things not things that they do. It's people. It's people who annoy you. Oh yeah, they're people. Yeah. But they, but they do certain things. And I have some of them. Some of them don't do anything. They're that, just people. Okay. <laughs> and that's enough for me to hate them. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fine. I'm really excited about this because I have a ton of people that I dislike, and I'm going to start with my favorite one out of all of them. I love to hate these people, and it is going to be people who don't put their fucking shopping carts away after they're done at the grocery store. Okay, those people annoy you, or you hate those people. I hate those people. Okay. Those fucking okay. lazy bastards. Uh, JP, you get the uh, second pick. Go for it. Lesbians. Okay, all right. Wow. Yep. Let's just come out with it. That draft is not going to be able to go up on Facebook. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I, Lesbians I, are people, too. I know they are. Barely. Barely. But they are. But if they annoy you, no, they then do. that's technically a bad thing. So Facebook's oh, going to okay. take it down. That's kind of what it. Sorry. So do you want to call them dykes? No, oh, that's uh, worse. Oh, is it really? I think pretty much. That's a slur. Is it really? I mean, I use it a lot, but oh, okay. still a slur. All right. That's fair enough. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row, dude. Uh Children. Ooh, okay. All right. Children in general. Yeah, yeah. That All of them. Even the, the baby children, those the, ones The too. little ones? The even babies. Those. I don't okay. like them either. All right. Baby Jesus. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. And then uh, people who hang out in the left lane. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. Left laners. <laughs> That's a slur. <laughs> I can't stand that shit. <laughs> I'm just waiting for somebody to say that's a slur, Scotty. Left lane. No, we're, we're, you're full of slurs. You know that. <laughs> okay, yeah. fine. Uh, J- At least you can say left laners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. All right, JP, what's your next pick? Uh, women who wear lots of flannel and Birkenstocks. <laughs> okay, women in flannel. Okay, and Birkenstocks. All right, I don't know how to spell that. That doesn't surprise me in the least <laughs> bit, Scotty. Which word? Spell women you, flannel well, in or Birkenstocks? <laughs> Fine. Uh, all right. I'm going to uh, then You didn't go. write down Birkenstocks. I, I, I'll get it later. Um, He's going to have to Google it. I, okay. I, I, that's I, cool. I, yeah, dude. I'm not going to yeah. embarrass right. myself. Good enough. I, I, that's the last person I want to embarrass is myself. It's going to end up saying Beacocks. <laughs> It'll say Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah. That's a new invention. Beacocks. Jeez, <laughs> I didn't know how many. I didn't know bees had cocks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to kick it off with uh, people who don't know what they want at a drive through window. Okay. Uh, that does absolutely drive me crazy. Mm-hmm. And then last but certainly not least, I'm just going to go with people who lie. Okay. Yeah. Liars. Liars. Fucking liars. Okay. Uh, JP, your next pick, Doc. Uh, women with short hair <laughs> and strong opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Feminists, then I, can uh, just... I mean, I think it all is boiling back down to lesbians. <laughs> okay, so far, wow, yeah, this one really ain't going to be able to go up on Facebook. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Overly patriotic people. Okay, Toby Keith. Oh, oh. wow, really? You don't like these people? Oh my fucking god, no, oh, man, I, I like these people. Yeah, okay. I bet you do. Uh, no, they're okay. Uh. And. Overly Christian people. <laughs> okay, super Christians, I get it. Yeah, like whatever you... Westboro Baptist Church people. That would be a group, yes. Yeah. Uh, also, the people like when we were at the draft and you walk out of the draft and there's people standing there trying to give you Bibles, those people. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Shoving religion down your throat. Okay. Yeah. If you're going to shove something down my throat, it better not be religion. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, I'm, I'm kind of both of your last picks, but I'm not, I'm not super those. So oh, well, see, my last one's going to be podcast host. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> name Scotty. Yeah. Name Scotty. I was going to go with podcast host, service writers, golfers, snowboarders. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Fair, fair. Golfers. All right. Uh, JP, go ahead. Is just one? Uh, you get one. Women. Uh, just in general. Jeez. Just in general. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to win. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't there, are, uh, there, there probably aren't enough gay people that watch the show for me to win. <laughs> I know. And they if don't they know do, they're, they're probably lesbians. <laughs> so they really are going to hate my draft. If there was only a, a like a, to be able to vote, we would have a rainbow emoji over. I'd put it on there. Yeah. But they don't. So yeah, that's too bad. Uh, I'm going to put Hobby Horse Contestants as my next pick. All right. Yeah, I think that's a good one. And it would not be me if I did not put a driving road rage thing on there for me. And that is going to be people who drive under the speed limit. Those fuckers get out of the fucking, just get out of the way, get off the road, quit driving. And JP, your last pick. I kind of got a theme going. Here. I can see that. So I'm going to stick with it and okay. we'll just go Nazis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. That's Sometimes they're the super Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're women the with short haircuts and strong opinions. Okay. All right. Calm down. And Derek, your last pick. Um, God, there's so many. There are. Um, I've got KU fans. Oh, okay. I don't have. That's not my pick. Come yeah. on. We can put that one there. That's a good one. Uh, single moms. That's another uh, good one. There. Um, Obese people. Oh, wait. No, that's you. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with old people. Old? Why? They bitch more than anybody else in the world. That's okay. They've been here a really long time. They've earned it. Uh, They've earned it. I can't do it, man. They smell bad. You smell bad. Not as bad as them. That's not true. Have you smelled yourself? No, because you can't. Yeah, I can. Okay. I shower, asshole. That doesn't matter. I watched it. You've seen the video footage. I shower. (laughs) (laughs) JP did provide that. You are welcome. Yeah, thanks, man. That was weird. No, they fucking... the least I could do. There's... Fuck, I like the job I have. I, bad tippers is another one. Yeah, uh, I was, uh, that's another good one. Well, the job I work at, people will be like, well, I said, do you have your driver's license on you? I've been coming here for 35 years. I don't know who you are. <sighs> can I change liars? You can do whatever you want, man. Freeloaders. Okay. I, I, I'm going to go with that. Yep. I, 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 I would take a liar over a freeloader. Yep, I'm going with old people, young people. I should have just went with people in the middle. Too. Yeah, you really should have. <laughs> middle agers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most frustrating thing in the world to me, though. Uh, like, uh, especially in a place of retail, whenever somebody comes in and just wants the free shit. Put the put bitchy old people. Okay, bitchy. Okay, that's fine. I, I like that much. That's better. where I was going. Okay, so just put bitchy old. I people. I did I did, okay. but I think they do. They have earned their right to bitch. No. If you're 80 years old and people are trampling on your lawn, you should have every right to tell them to get the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but if you'd have refused to pay $3.50 for vodka orange juice because whenever you first started coming to that bar, it was $2.50. That's a little shitty. That's what I'm talking about. Gotcha. Yeah, it just needs shit some I've context. Dealt, I've dealt with that shit. It just needs some context is all They're I'm the saying. They're the worst. Uh, but anyways, guys, you can go to... I was going to say Facebook.com, but I don't think this one's going to last very long. I'm going to try. I don't think it'll be up there. Uh, but you can definitely. you're going to blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I think on the on the uh, the, the Twitter, you, you, should just put, you should just put librarians. And then <laughs> for the first comment, put librarians means lesbians. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That's fair enough. I just think there needs to be like a disclaimer in there that JP is also gay, like, uh, or something along those lines. So then it makes it okay. That list is then fine. For the Real. record, I Makes love sense. lesbians. I do too. Yeah, that's, that's the only good. porn I watch. You haven't seen lesbians mm-hmm. if you like them. I'm friends with a few of them. Well, Are they hot ones? No. They're cool as they're, shit. They're not hot. There's very few hot ones. Of course there are. But they do exist. Sure they do. Right. In movies. Well, well sure. This is the only Come point. out to the club with me. <laughs> the ones Let me I'm show friend, you what they really look like. The ones I'm friends with, I can't look at that way because I'm good friends with them and uh, they, and they look like dudes i do no, they don't look like dudes at all they don't no i i actually now that i think about, i do actually know a very very attractive lesbian i do good man it's absolutely beautiful congrats kind of makes me mad even though i'm married just yeah. kind of uh, lost lost a good one yeah woman down all right uh but anyways you can go to uh twitter which is at lot sidelines and vote for who has the best list of people who annoy you or who annoy you. And you can also, uh, in the comments, leave leave who we left out. I love it when you guys do yeah, that. Yeah, they're, they're good at that. Makes me, makes me yeah. feel really great. So, Surprised uh, that wasn't on your list. What? <clears throat> leave comments on the left out. <laughs> <laughs> or the ones that are always like, how did you guys you didn't forgot get this? this? My yeah. favorite are the ones going to be like, how did you leave off lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got librarians, but not lesbians. Not lesbians? It's insane. 
Uh, but no, uh, we have a great list. I, I I have a great list. I better win. You unpatriotic motherfuckers, vote for Derek, and I'll punch you in the throat. Uh, but anyways, uh, that is our draft. Again, go to at LOT Sidelines on Twitter and vote. And if you do not already follow us, please do us a favor and do that. That helps us uh, grow that side because that's, uh, it's going to go that direction a little bit. Facebook is picking up, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And as always, battlecorncarepackages.com. We are coming up on their uh, gold tie ball, I think is what it's called. Uh, Masquerade, I apologize. Uh, that is coming up on August 26th. Uh, we just found out today that they are getting very close to their overall goal of $25,000. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Curtis and his family do a lot of great things for people going through some tough shit. And uh, we want to support them uh, as much as we can. So, again, if you ha- listen to the show and you want to do us a favor, go to battlecorncarepackages.com. Leave a message. Let them know that we sent you. Uh, all of the dollars going to that organization, that nonprofit organization, uh, does excellent things for children going through some serious shit, i.e. cancer. And all of the money donated at uh, this particular masquerade is going to uh, help with childhood cancer research. So thank you to them. Uh, But this week's shitty situation is going to be a fun one. I like this one a lot. Um, We're going to go with, uh, would you rather have a shock collar that is controlled by your wife and she shocks you whenever you swear or when you annoy her? Okay, spouse, annoy him, JP. All right. Okay. I think JP's shock collar is controlled by lesbians. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's a good one. I, I like it. Uh, After they've listened to this show. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this episode in particular. This episode yeah. in particular, I think so. Right, JP? I'm in agreement. Okay. <laughs> Glad we have established some particular things. Uh, I'm going to go with... I, I can't do swear. There is no way I can do swear. That is part of my language uh, in... Uh, I know I'm going to annoy her quite often, <laughs> but uh, I am definitely going to go with uh, with whenever I annoy her. I hope I don't do that very often, but I, I've heard from listeners. I know I annoy you, but believe it or not, my wife likes me quite a bit. So I'm gonna I that. really can't figure it out either. <laughs> I, I have tried. I have a feeling that when I pulled up here today and you were just sitting there chatting with JP, watching your wife rip out bushes, <laughs> you would have fucking got the chairs. <laughs> no. I think you need to rethink that voltage, bruh. Bru. I'm just saying, no, she doesn't want me to help with that stuff because I do a terrible job. You can't do a terrible job killing shit. Right, ripping out weeds. <laughs> ripping out weeds. You're a shitty re- weed ripper. I, I mean, yeah. I, go in the house. I damage the grass somehow. I don't do everything perfect, so we have an understanding. She does all she of does the, all the chores, work and, I and I sit down yeah, and shut call. up. It good works. Call. It's something good. that works for us, Ugh, and that's why we're happily married for almost almost nine years. You're happily married. I said we. Okay. Yeah. Nine Good. years. That's nine, fucking nine awesome, years. man. Yeah, it's coming up. That's coming great. Up. That's about how long mine lasted. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I sure lost on the over there. Yeah, yeah. no shit, you did. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, anytime I annoy her because we have an understanding. We have an agreement. Good. Signed, written, deal. Good. How about uh, how about you, JP? I have to go with cussing because I can't go with lesbians. <laughs> Why? You, I'll be dead. You, <laughs> but, you're, <laughs> fucking, but you're on the same team. I'll be dead. I don't care. I think <laughs> they will fry me. They'll understand. They will be hitting the button so much. You'd have to change the batteries every couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I think they're not an understanding people. The I, lesbians. I don't know. They I've hold met, a grudge. I've met a couple of them. They're okay. They hold a grudge. I don't think so. Oh, I know so. I don't know. I think you're hanging out. With I bet I lesbians. know more than you. I bet you're right. Okay. Well, then fucking quit to try to convince me, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm acting like this is really going to happen, and I kind of want it to. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, absolutely not. I think it'd be entertaining. I'm going to go with cussing, even though it's gonna. I'm going to get the fuck shocked out of me all the time. It'd still be less It'd than, by the way. It'd still be a lot less than if a lesbian had the button. I understand. That's perfectly fine. All right. Uh, how about you, Derek? Lesbians or uh, swear? Lesbians. Yeah, I figured. 
What, you might. what are you talking about? I don't know. You don't no, like lesbians no, either. No, mine is a swear annoyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine's special. Yeah, the lesbian one. I just figured he kind of was along the same line. So. No. I'm going to go with uh, swear. I'm not saying I, I haven't had his dick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather uh, have her shock me when I swear. Yeah. I think you could uh, probably clean it up. I, I think I could. I and there's shit that I do that I have no idea that I'm doing that annoy her. <laughs> you just her, got one, by the And way. I'm not going to know what I did. Yeah, there you so go. So I'm like, I'll just be then, sitting there. And just, yeah, what, what the, the fuck, fuck was did that I for? do? <laughs> and just nothing. And then like 10 minutes later, like, yeah. son of a bitch. I'm still mad at you. Yeah, okay, yeah. I get that. Yeah. I agree. I'll be a, a, That's cool. I'll be snoring asleep and just. Like, <laughs> 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 She's like, God. Oh, She's like, go ahead, motherfucker, fall asleep. I dare you. Yeah. Yeah. God Got damn him. it. Yeah. She'll come in the bathroom after me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm switching to swear. I did not think yeah. about that. I did not think about the the sleeping thing. That is a good point. She slept on the floor last night. Oh, yeah. You're, she, she slept <laughs> on the button. Yeah. She, she just laid on the button. She did. She could. Yeah, I was apparently snoring so loud that she went into the spare bedroom and laid on the floor. One of these days, she's just going <laughs> to smother you. So bad. Nine years. How did that happen? I don't know. Uh, but no, seriously, she did. And so, yeah, I, right. t- I take it back. Yeah. I am going swear swear jar all day long. Yep. You want to hear a funny story, JP? It I'd actually love is, to. It's about Derek. All right, then it's going to be good. Uh, almost uh, almost four and a half years ago to the day, we started a little podcast called The Unfiltered Sportscast, and we had a had a uh, challenge of who would have, I think, the best like overall score on the brackets for college basketball, and who the loser would get shocked with a shock collar on the show. Derek lost. He didn't like that shit very much. So I, I understand his swear because he can control that because yeah, he did right, not like the fucking could, yeah. shock collar no, at all. No, it's probably not great. It, uh, it didn't work. It didn't work during the show because the the microphones had feedback that would cancel it out. Oh, really? But, so we did a video after the show of me and just it standing. it works. It works. It worked yeah. just fine. He didn't like it one bit. Yeah. But uh, but I, I turned it down but uh, to, compared to what my dog gets. And so I'm, I'm just fucking kidding. Dude, I'll fucking <laughs> beat your ass, dude. You fucking don't shock those dogs. I They're never the sweetest. Would. They are the sweetest dogs. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for taking me out of a bad mood. Yeah, and man, I'm so one. glad to see you smile, buddy. Just JP. And thanks for putting me in one. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. Derek was a fucking ball of sunshine before we started. <laughs> I was in a great mood. Yeah, he here. was. He just grabs you by the ankles yeah, and just holds you It was, it was a sunshine day in the Alders household. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Take your resting suicide face and go home. I'm ready. <laughs> Anyways, but thank you guys both very, very much. Absolutely. I really do appreciate it. Excellent stand-up comedians, JP and Derek Alders. We will be without Derek at least for a week. Uh, so Probably do. It's back-to-back. Uh, is it back-to-back? Okay, so we'll miss him for a couple weeks but uh, you go have fun doing baseball buddy love you uh i know uh we don't have any shows coming up anytime soon that i'm aware of i'm still one. doing my week at the looney bin fuck it yeah i'll be there, <laughs> next, yeah, I'll week. Be there next week in the parking <laughs> lot come see bring, me he's gonna bring his fucking microphone yeah. into the restaurant no, that's horn. going there yeah <laughs> bull bull absolutely i got um, a show coming up in august i don't know when i'll let you know next week or when or where when i don't know either okay but well, i'll know by next week thanks man i appreciate you letting us know that you yeah. have no information no whatsoever. but look man i want you to come uh, i'm I sure you, you do, do. <laughs> and i wouldn't mind you being, being at the show okay that's what All i right. thought but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for for helping us out and sharing the show. That means a lot to us. The con- we continue to grow, and that's awesome. All you new listeners out there, hope you had a good time. Uh, and we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you go down to the local truck stop to check out the glory hole, and then, bam, you found out someone rimmed it with super glue. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, there's no job too tough for super glue. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing at us. We'll see y'all later. Take care.